What do you do here, Andy? Right now, a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. On better days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing some good. Uh, you're with the NCR, right? Was. Was with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger, though. I'll check in with the guys up at the station pretty regular on the ham radio. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, the smug bastards. They haven't been responding to me last couple days. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk, but it still got me a little worried. Hell, listen to me talk, like some damn mother hen. Would you feel better if I checked on your NCR friends for you? Uh, no. No, they're gonna think I'm having trouble letting go. They're good soldiers. I don't give them enough credit. Tell me about the Rangers. They're the NCR's finest. A one-man platoon, each of them. You got a job where even thinking about it would scare a man senseless? That's when you bring in the Rangers. And if you see a squad of veterans, guys who are in their black armor, well, you won't find a more beautiful sight. Uh, okay, well, did you do something to your leg? Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the Rangers. This time... It's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. What happened? A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. We get there and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. I turn around and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us and he's scared half to death. Been hiding in a closet. What did you do? I go to grab him out of there and I notice he's holding something in his hand. Something metal. Stabs him. He shuts himself back in the closet and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Anyway, that was the first time. Second time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel. Just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. Uh, your body's injured, not in your mind. You're kidding yourself that you think you're useless. Huh. <laughs> People don't exactly line up to find out what's in my head. Can't remember the last time someone suggested I knew something worth knowing. You know, maybe there's something I can do for you. Since you've gone to all the trouble of flattering a crippled old soldier, there's a move we have in the Rangers for knocking an opponent off his feet. Save my butt a bunch of times, maybe it will for you too. Let me show you how it's done. You've learned the Ranger takedown special move. Initiate a power attack while moving backwards. You'll drop your opponent to the ground. Okay, awesome. Speech is actually useful now, and there's a book. No, he's gonna arrest me if I do that. You'll get the hang of that takedown. Uh, okay, that's everything. Hey, uh, wait a sec. I know what I said, but if you find yourself by Ranger Station Charlie, let me know what you find. Okay. Ranger Station Charlie. Got it. Cutting board, a nice steak. Got a bathroom that's radiated with a surgical tubing. Probably used to do drugs or some crazy police business. Crazy police guy. Oh, that one's closed. Who are you? Howdy. Yeah, hey. Motel room, Manny Vargas' room. Why am I allowed to go into the rooms of people that have names? That doesn't make any sort of sense. Oh, you know my name. Now you can go into my room. Motel room, motel room. Motel room. So where's the other sniper? I want to meet him. He's looking for... Oh, this... Mer this guy's been in trouble. I've been in trouble. Traveling merchant. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's just take a little walk around town. See if I can find him. Because I'd like to meet that son of a gun. Maybe he's like... Down here somewhere. Maybe they work in shifts. I have no idea. Mailbox, mailbox, looting. Yes. Nuka Cola truck. Taking it. Because I like the look of those things. Novak House. We should also talk to the um, the farmer guy who's losing Brahmin. No bark shack. Yeah, let's not go there. Don't want him to go all nuts on me. He'll probably try and stab me some more. So that would not be a good idea. Excuse me, mailbox. Trying to pass through. Who's this guy? 
Who's this old fart? Hey, old fart. Uh, oh, you're not an old fart. If it weren't for the water caravans, Novak would have turned to dust a long time ago. Well, that's really cool and stuff. Thanks for the great story. Where is the, the farminator? Oh, that looks like a, a pen. An animal pen. Yeah, I'm taking that. What's up with all the... Well, I guess it makes sense that there's magazines and mailboxes, but still. McBride's house. That is a dead Brahmin. Where's the holes? I don't really see any holes. Okay, well, let's go talk to the guy. And see what he thinks happened to his little cow. Which is not actually little, but still. Hey, girl. Look who's here. Alice. What brings you here? How did Nobark get his name? What do you think of the people who live here? I just wanted to meet you. Oh. Well, I'm Alice. And that handsome stranger yonder is my husband, Dusty. Going on 50 years now. I keep waiting for him to leave me for some young thing with platinum blonde hair and hoop earrings. But he still sticks around. Says it's my cooking. I think it's because I know which Brahmin utter you can milk without getting kicked in the noggin. Uh, have you lived here for a long time? We set up this ranch years back when Novak was just getting settled. But now, with all the danger on I-15, folks are starting to come through here from all over. Novak might just be the next Nevada boomtown. Okay, well, what do you think of the people who live here? Oh, we keep to ourselves for the most part. Try not to pry. I think Jeannie Mae gets bothered that we aren't more sociable. But it's just our way. Ain't that we don't appreciate what she's done, managing this town like she has. But I worry she feels that way anyhow. Not that there ain't others who pry around here. That no-bark was skulking around our yard last week. <laughs> I thought he was our cow killer. Was about to lash him with our bull whip till I saw who it was. He's harmless, though. Part of me wishes I could see things like he sees them. All full of mystery. Well, he kind of threatened to stab me, so he's not harmless. But how did he get his name? I'm not sure who started it. it wasn't a very nice name. But he took to calling himself by it, so we all had to. I don't even remember what his real name is. Anyway, I think it comes from that expression that people say when you're crazy. That not all of your dogs are barking. Poor no bark. Oh man, that's so mean. Okay, goodbye. Nice of you to visit. The weird thing about this game is that some old people are just like, they look like they're 20 or 30 years old and all they have is gray hair. It's a little weird. Uh, hey Dusty. Howdy. Things treating you alright? What do you do here, Novak? Oh, I tend to my ranch. That's about it. Alice will tell you, I don't get out a whole lot. I heard you've been losing livestock. Losing don't describe it. It's a massacre. A few more days and there won't be nothing left to lose. Oh, whoa. Don't get all sad on me. Tell me what you know about the attacks. Every night around midnight, Alice and I wake up to some crazy hollering and gunshots. You'd think the world was ending all over again. But it's just one animal each night. They don't take it or carve it up or nothing. Just leave it there, all full of holes. That's a bit weird. I'll see if I can catch whoever's responsible. We'd be grateful. Especially if you find them before they get my whole stock. But don't go getting yourself killed over it. Alice and I'll find a way to make do. Always have. Don't worry, dude. I'm gonna take care of this. Did you get a look at the attacker? Beg your pardon, mister, but them two-headed beeves ain't worth getting shot over. Not to mention what would happen if half of what Nobark says is true. Best we can hope is that whoever's doing this will move on or get tired of it. I just hope it happens while we still got animals left. Whoever it is, I don't think they're from around town. Seems like they've taken to shooting from the west side. Hmm, okay, goodbye. So long. So long, sucker. I'm actually gonna save in here, go outside, wait for the night to come, and we're gonna bust that that Brahmin murdering piece of shit. We're gonna bust him real good. Right in his ass from the west. So this is the west. Okay, so we're good to go. I'm gonna wait for like eh, four hours. You know, should be good. Should be good uh good time. Hello. Anybody looking to kill these cute little Brahmins? Maybe I should kill the Brahmins. No, I don't want to. That's mean. I can hear creepy music. You trying to scare me, game? 
Where's the crazy hollering and the gunshots? I don't hear it. They're still alive. One more hour. Oh, what is that? There's an invisible f something. Excuse me, sir. Nightkin? What the fuck is a nightkin? Excuse me, sir. Stand down. Stand down, sir. I will not repeat myself, sir. Stand down. Shoot him in the leg. Oh, yeah. There goes your leg, asshole. There you go. Oh, my God. That thing is hideous. What is that? At least my gun worked. What the hell are you? Mini gun. Oh, my God. The screams of Brahmin. What kind of weird thing is this? Fuck you. You can't just kill Brahmin like it's nothing. I think we solved this little mystery. It was a crazy nightkin who is also dead. Who are these people? Excuse me. Excuse me. Who are you? Strauss. Mercenary. Mercenary. Who are you? Why are you covered in blood? What can I do for you? Um... I'm hurt. I need help. Can you heal my radiation? I need medical supplies. Yeah, and I need sterile medical supplies. But let's see what I have with Are them. you covered in blood? That's so weird. It's the weirdest thing ever. Cat eye. That's pretty cool. Oh, I can give her the NCR money and get paid. I'll take your money. Another satisfied Yeah, customer. goodbye. Bye. That's kind of weird. I thought she was some murderous crazy woman, but she's just a doctor. Dusty. Dusty. Find anything? No one is going to attack your corral from now on. Well, I don't know how you've done it, but I do know how I can thank you. Please take this. Compliments of Alice and myself. Is it money? And help yourself to anything in that freezer over yonder. We got more steaks in there than we'd be able to eat in a year. 75 caps. Well, goodbye. So long. We got some fame in Novak. We are accepted now. Because we're awesome. They have a gun case, an oven, refrigerator. It's 10 steaks. That's not that much. I can eat all that right now. Way to freaking just exaggerate that little thing. Data. Quest. Cold, cold heart. Where do I go for that anyway? All the way to the Mojave Outpost. Well, let's do that then. Oh, I have to go outside? Yeah. Let's just deal with some things around here at first then. Come fly with me. Have to head to the facility. Let's see if there if we can find this second sniper, because I want to see who that is. His name was Boone. That's Genie's house. Oh, we should probably listen to a recording that we found. The screams of Brahmin. Most of what is recorded here is a mess of incomprehensible psychotic gibberish. It seemed to express a general frustration towards a set of Brahmin who are allegedly keeping the author awake at night by screaming inside his head whenever he closes his eyes. Well, I want to, like... Oh, so it's you can't actually listen to it. They're just saying that. Okay. Gun brochure. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, world map. Rep contest site, which is that way. Probably behind the mountains or anything like that. Something like that. Uh, let's see. Victor is still chilling. Doop, 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 doop. Let's see if the, the other sniper is there now at night. I guess Cliff went to bad. Which is not weird at all. Boone! 